All right, guys. So today uh, I'm gonna make a video over some basic tips and tricks for Game War. Um, most of this is gonna be kind of introductory level. Um, so more advanced players are probably gonna know pretty much all these topics I'm gonna cover. There, there's a few that that I feel that need to be touched on, and just based on some discussion I was having with uh, uh, with my alliance, and and so I'm gonna go ahead and cover those. Uh, the first one is going to be basically uh, your resources and speed ups. You know, a lot of times people don't know that you can you can flip so your higher uh, speed ups and your higher resources are on the top, um, so you don't have to scroll all the way down and go through all that. Um, the way you do that is you go into more down here at the bottom right and you click on options. And I'm actually going to cover a couple things in the options menu. You can turn off like upgrade arrows, recommended quests, you can turn off that no hero march warning so if you just want to send your troops um, so you're not getting you know a confirmation every time because you're not sending your hero. That'll slow down that'll slow down a lot of things and uh, the hero preset confirmation is annoying as well. If you're getting hit and you want to switch over to like a core preset or just a defensive style preset you you don't want to be prompted, you know, every time that oh, do you sure you want to put this on? You know, it's it's kind of annoying. Now, right here, reverse item display, speed ups and resources. You can flip the order that those show up in. Everything else is just translation settings and things of that nature. Uh, the combination, yeah, um, there's a little. Are you sure you want to combine? Um, actually, I don't know why that's on, but <clears throat> anyway, that that's one thing that in there that's it kind of helps, you know, flipping those around. You don't have to scroll, saves you some time. Um, one one thing I'm gonna touch on, and this is just, I'm gonna touch very briefly. If if you've started making cores, the first thing I'm gonna say is don't make don't make cores like don't you use the set cores or the pieces that go into sets core sets until until you have all of your crafting research completed uh, all the way down to six piece level six core and what I mean by that is sorry I'm in the wrong place I'm gonna go to research I'll show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna go into crafting now each one of these see so you can go all the way down you got your level three cores level four cores um, right here see Core Mastery 6, and then a little bit further down, you got the 5th piece crafting slot and the 6th piece, piece craft, crafting slot. And I haven't completed all of it yet, so I'm not crafting core sets because you can't craft. You cannot make a full set of cores until you have this done because it doesn't... Unless you put all 6 pieces of the required to make the set item it's it's not going to give you the set bonus and if you need those recipes you can get them off of um, inside game of or actually it may be just inside gow.com um, anyway just google inside game of war and it'll come up with the uh, with the site you need to look at to get that okay so also something on cores if you do happen to make level six cores I wouldn't recommend wasting anything on level six cores until you're at presets because if you can't put them on instantly the whole set or you all your cores or whatever it is you need then then there's really because by the time you get them all equipped you're already attacked now if you just want to make one to make you a little bit more defensive or something like that that's fine like a firecrackers or something like that that's a uh, that's good I'm gonna do a video on uh, basic cores and then I'm gonna take it up to intermediate and then advanced cores and I'll do that later, uh, a little bit later down the road. Um, something else that, that I see, I, I ask people all the time in Ally Chat about this, they don't ever utilize it. If you go into more and then go to, uh, it's not Facebook referrals, but this refer a friend. Right here, it says your Game of War referral ID. If you give that to somebody else, even if they're already playing and they enter it here, you're going to, um, you will... Uh, each person, both you and the person you refer, will get all of, uh, you know, they'll get this just at first, and then Stronghold 5, you get this extra bonus. Now, these are small, 
they're not huge, but Stronghold 8, they get a little better as you go. I mean, right here you get, you know, a little dark energy, um, you know, some a couple of speed ups, VIP points. Um, right here, Stronghold 12 gets a little better. You get a three hour speed up. Um, I believe you get a couple of, yeah, three hour speed up. Down here, Stronghold 15, you get 90,000 dark energy, another three hour speed up, and a 15 hour speed up. Stronghold 18, you get a little bit better. You notice the rewards get a little better each time, and uh, and and that's big. You know, like a rare gem chest. You know, seven day speed up. I mean, when they hit Stronghold 21, that's huge. Now, if you if each person you refer, each person that adds your referral, you get that for every person that you that that adds your referral. I'm gonna put my referral code in the uh, description down at the bottom. You know, feel free to add that to yours. I mean, it won't hurt you in any way to add it the only thing that you need to know is if you make a second account and you've logged into it from the same device that you play your main account on you can't it it, it recognizes that and won't let you add it okay so the next thing i was going to cover is anytime you're going to be doing mass research leave your alliance and jump in the alliance jump in some type of a help alliance there's all kinds of them there's and I'll list some of these in the description as well. There's 94H, there's AKH, um, All Kingdom Helps, and there's um, there's quite a few. And I'll, and I'll list them, but join that because it's an instant 25 helps, and, and, and it removes, I would say, I, I'm not sure exactly how much, but I want to say 20 to 30% of the, tr of the research time. Something else before you need to do any mass research, you always want to go in here and equip all your research gear, and you want to go in here and if, if you don't have a like gold go ahead and uh, go into your alliance store and buy a uh, reset your skills and you want to max out uh, these things like like this research because it really stacks up you want to max that one out I believe there's two levels of research the second one is right here you want to max those out and same thing for construction or troop training because it's going to shave a lot of time off that that training and it's gonna really help save up some of your speed ups and you'll get the more bang for your for your buck, honestly, if you're buying packs. Now, <clears throat> also, when you join those help alliances, anytime you're doing any uh, research, wait until an Inferno event starts. Get in there and do it. And and pick and choose your Inferno events. Pick the ones that give you the things you need. Like this one's given Turquoise Fireballs. It's good for making the uh, Colossus set. Uh, gives a 7-day speed up for this level 17 General's Chest. The next level, or that's level two of it. Level one's kind of useless usually. You got some blue flames in there. Um, and then the level three, you get seven 30-day speed-ups. I mean, that's that's a lot of speed-ups back that you get. And, I mean, you get a lot of blue flames. This is good for Fire Age sets, uh, turquoise fireballs. You got your Colossus sets there. Uh, you got some chests down here, um, executioners, generals. You know, if you if you're if you're needing like some generals pieces or you're needing some materials for magisters or any specific set, pick and choose your infernos, uh, and 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 do them. But now here's the deal: when you complete stay uh, the prize three of the infernos, stop. Don't just keep spamming them because chances are you're not going to get the event leader. I mean, it's really hard to get the top one because this is across all kingdoms and and it's really difficult to do that. So. Instead of trying to go for that, just save your speed ups, wait for the next Inferno to start, rinse and repeat the process. Just know that when you complete all three, prize level three of an Inferno event, it gets higher each time, um, the amount of points you need to to complete. So, that being said, you know, I usually like to space my big researches. I'll do like three or four Infernos a week or every other week, and I'll let them, you know, drop back down. That way I can get, you know, get more out of it. <clears throat> um, there was one other thing I was going to discuss, uh, oh, oh, on the same topic, make sure that you're getting, make sure that the boosts are active when you're doing your research. Don't, don't just go out there and just start blasting speed ups and, and doing research unless there's, you know, the kingdom boots or, uh, boosts are going on like this 10% speed up usage boost. So basically what that means is every time you use a 30 day speed up, you get an extra three days. So if you have research that requires 66 days. It gives you two 30-day speed ups, so fully complete it. Um, the 10% research speed, uh, that's also good. You want those both to be active before you go do a lot of research. Um, that's a that's probably pretty much on that one. Let um, me think. Uh, there's really there's there's a lot of things I could that I could 
go over little tips and tricks like that that I could cover. Um, those are probably the basic ones. I'm just kind of looking around at the buildings here just to see if I can think of anything else off the top of my head right now. Um, oh, okay, so gold. Uh, don't spend gold on... On, um, I don't recommend spending gold on speed ups or, or, uh, anything really that doesn't affect your account. Uh, once you've maxed out VIP, sure, you can spend gold on speed ups. Uh, I mean, on other things, whatever you need. But, like, right now, see, so right now, I need to get to the next level of VIP. I need 1.46 mil, uh, VIP points. VIP. Points are one to one with gold. So I have one million one hundred eight thousand gold. I can get one million one hundred eight thousand VIP points. It's a, it's an even exchange. And then also, you know, if you got VIP, you know, you don't, you know, you want to max out your hero. Go ahead and max out your hero. Uh, you know, pick up these. Just start spamming these twenty five mil XP until you're level sixty. Um, I, I don't recommend spending gold on anything else other than that, really, until your VIP is maxed and your hero is maxed as far as level. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this one with that and I will, you know, I'll probably do another, uh, these tips and tricks. I'll probably start doing these once a week and well, as long as I can come up with talk, uh, topics or other people can provide me some topics to, uh, to cover. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this one. And if there's anything else you guys want, just please let me know and I'll get it taken care of.